Hello, I'm Teresa. I prepared this video to help train you to be the teacher. The video is not intended to replace you. The video is 34 minutes long and contains two classes that were taught unrehearsed with two mother-baby couples. I've edited it to give you the best from each of those classes. You will see as we go along that the two babies are very different and this is probably because their births were very different. At the beginning of each class, I ask the mothers to share their birth experience. The first mother-baby couple is Kim and Aaron, and Kim described her baby's delivery as difficult, and you will see that baby Aaron is spitty, fussy, and somewhat disorganized, and she gives you a gift because of this of demonstrating the I need help cry and the talking cry that we talk about in the manual and the booklet. The second mother-baby couple is Carlene and Benjamin, and Carlene described Benjamin's birth as easy, and you will see that Benjamin is relaxed and receptive to the massage throughout. With this understanding, let's begin the video. Okay. I want you to swaddle her and keep her nice and warm. Even though this room is warm, one of the, of the uh, principles that this program is based on is saving energy with the newborn so they can use all their energy for healing. Mm -hmm. So the way that we do this massage is to keep the baby warm and comfortable throughout. Okay, how about if you pull Erin down towards you just a little bit just to get comfortable. We want to see her. Okay, I'm going to use this booklet as a guideline and, and this is going to be your booklet to take. Okay. okay. See where we put this oil. How about if you hold the oil? Okay. Okay. I can While I talk. Okay. I'll <laughs> we'll just show with the booklet. I want to uh, just let you know that this is a gentle massage. Okay. And the amount of pressure that we use is enough to not put drag on the skin. Okay. There's two places where the skin is kind of loose and baggy, and that's the lips and the back. You know, they have all this mm, loose yes. skin back there. Mm -hmm. So when you massage her in those two areas the skin is going to move, okay. okay, so don't worry about that. But otherwise, use enough pressure so that you're not tickling her because tickling is uncomfortable for any baby okay, okay or child. So yeah. uh, some of them like tickling, but babies are not going to like <laughs> tickling, okay? Okay. okay, and because of the gentle pressure that we use, there are um, there's some therapeutic benefits of doing this massage, but not as much as if she were getting deeper touch, okay? okay? And once she's uh, through the healing phase, she'll be ready for deeper touch. How much does she weigh now? She weighs 8 pounds, 11 ounces. Okay, so she's, she's ready for the deeper touch just as soon as, I'd say, once she reaches three or four weeks. Once her cord okay. is off and all the bruises are healed and, and that sort of thing. Okay. okay. This is a lot of fun, and there's no need mm -hmm. to feel like you have to perform or be perfect with this. The idea mainly is for you to establish communication through touch, something that she had inside your uterus mm -hmm. since she can, her first memories were of being touched by the walls of your uterus. So you're actually maintaining something that's very familiar to her. Okay. Okay? But there are some benefits that have been researched and documented for this kind of massage. And, and one of them is that it's going to help her digest her food better. And that's okay. wonderful. Yes. <laughs> She's going to gain weight yes. even easier, too. And maybe not spit up as much. We'll have to see, and I'd appreciate it if you give me some feedback. That's wonderful. Okay. Um, this has a very organizing effect on the nervous system. And some, uh, a disorganized baby is one that takes a lot of time to get anything done with. You know, uh -huh. it takes a lot of time to feed them, takes a lot of time to burp them, takes a lot of time to get them to sleep, it takes a lot of time to wake them up. You know, they're just a little disorganized. Really spitty, gaggy babies mm -hmm. are Aaron. a little disorganized. <laughs> so this massage has a way of, of helping organize the nervous system that's very beneficial. Then the special attention that you get, uh, that your Aaron is getting with mm -hmm. you, assists you with the bonding process. So it isn't just you. It's your son mm -hmm. at home, your husband your uh, mother, father, you know, anybody that you would like to increase that attachment to your child. Touch is a powerful way to do that. So I hope you'll go and share this with them oh, yes. you know, and, and teach them I'm how to sure do it. I'm not sure if I'll let my son do it, but... <laughs> Maybe with some supervision. Yeah. <laughs> it could be fun. And then um, 
the circulation is improved mm -hmm. a little bit. So if there's any algae areas still left over from birth or whatever, this will speed up the healing of that. Okay. If you teach this to a friend, mm -hmm. okay, sometimes right after birth, babies have some birth trauma, some bruising on the head. Her head looks pretty nice, uh -huh. you know, probably because you've had your first child, you know, yeah. and she's second. But um, encourage them to go ahead and touch those bruised areas. Just oh, really? gently, and, and it's really good to speed the healing to do that. And then uh, this has a this whole process that we're using has a calming effect on a baby's nervous system, and it also has a calming effect on you. Yeah, that's you good like too. it. Too. <laughs> okay. That's good too. There is some information that lets us know that muscle tone and coordination are improved, also. And new information is coming out that the immune system, part of the immune system is in the skin, and that by daily rubbing of the skin for five minutes, you can improve the immune system functioning. Oh, really? Yes. Well, now, her immune system isn't fully functioning until she's three or four months of age. Uh -huh. Okay, but just rubbing her, massaging her a little bit every day, and your son, and your husband, and, and your, your husband, husband massage <laughs> you, you know, that yeah. all of you will be healthier for it. Oh, okay? that's great. And then uh, before we get started, there's a couple of things that I'd like to remind you about. Okay. Again, waiting 30 minutes after feeding. So the way I uh, felt this would unfold for us, Kim, is that while we were doing this talking part, time would be going by and, and her digestive process would be okay. underway. Okay. The reason we wait the 30 minutes is so that she doesn't spit up. Okay, or pull. Oh, pull yeah, <laughs> and it, as you're massaging her, uh, she's in a very light sleep. Yeah, you know, we can tell by the way she reacted to the sound. But as you massage her legs and arms, you start pulling more blood there. Mm -hmm. Okay, away from her digestive tract. So that's why you want to wait. Okay. Uh, that time, or if you massage her before you feed her, it's going to wake her up good, and it's going to get the uh, digestive juices flowing, and she will actually digest her food better. Yeah. So you'll work out a rhythm and a... a Figure out what's better a, for her. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. Choose a, a time and place that's comfortable. Get yourself comfortable, mm -hmm. whether you're sitting on the bed or on the floor. You want to have something soft, um, a heavy blanket or a pillow, mm -hmm. you know. A pillow's nice when they're on their back. Once you turn them on their stomach, you want something that's a more firm surface. <sighs> Let's see. Also, we're going to use containment. And containment is, in a way, recreating the security that the uterus offered her. Mm -hmm. Okay, it feels like home. Yeah. So, by keeping one hand on her at all times, mm -hmm. you'll be giving her containment, and that will feel good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So every time you're doing a stroke, you'll always have one hand on her while the other hand is moving. Okay. There are three places where you can give firm pressure, and that's the mouth, the palms, and the bottoms of the feet. Okay. Also, we're going to watch her for timeout signals. And if she's getting overwhelmed, mm -hmm. then we want to back off. Okay. Because the whole idea is for her to be comfortable and not to push her into burning up calories, being all upset and fussy. Because we're giving massage now. This should be a nurturing thing. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. If you had to give her medicine and she didn't want to take it, you might have to. <laughs> there might be some yeah. strong uh, signals, as yes. you can remember with your 18-month-old. Yes. That they don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so, very strong signal. Since we're doing massage here, mm -hmm. we'll honor those overwhelmed signals and back off. And then I'm going to remind you of some ways to comfort her. Okay. Okay. And then you would do those things to comfort her, and we'll let her get centered before we go on. Okay. Okay. So first, I want to talk to you about crying. I w was around hundreds of babies and heard all of these babies crying at various times when I worked in the OB department. And I never really paid that much attention to the cries. And then I took the infant massage instructor training and I started listening to babies' cries as their form of communication. And I know you've heard that babies are talking to us mm -hmm. when they're crying. Yes. It's true. But I started sorting them into two cries. And it's been so much more fun for me. And I know listening to crying that may not sound like fun to you, but, yeah. you know, but I sorted them into two kinds of cries. One is the talking cry. Mm -hmm. And with the talking cry, each cry sounds just like the one before it. Oh. Okay? And if Erin mm -hmm. does this for us, it will be a special bonus. Okay. Okay? <laughs> and then the I need help cry 
it winds up and gets yes. higher and higher pitched. You've heard this? Yes, I have. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, you've probably heard this one too, and maybe not recognized probably. it. Probably, yeah, I probably heard it and just not recognized it. It seems just seems like they get louder, but okay, probably, probably but not. We'll we'll see. Yeah. Okay. This is just asking. This kind of cry is just asking you to listen. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when you start listening to her, you make good eye-to-eye -eye contact uh -huh. and make little sounds like, oh, you know, like, what a big story or, you know, some kind of way of, mm -hmm. of letting her know. And then she'll just keep talking. It's very interesting when you, in, on purpose, listen, mm -hmm. what happens is they begin to talk. Oh, really? It's fun. It's really fun. Okay. And you start <laughs> opening up a, uh -huh. a new way of, of communicating, mm -hmm. you know, just by listening. So, um, and the I need help cry means. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got to Get figure my it out. Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. That's good talking cry. Thank you, Erin. We're listening. Okay. We're listening. What are you trying to say? Good talking cry. This good. Is this is a talking cry. Oh. Now we'll listen and it'll probably shift and change. Oh. Yeah. She says, I can talk. I can talk. How about if you swaddle her? Because we don't want her to get cold. Okay. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes something as simple as changing their position or doing difference. something, they'll stop crying. It's yeah. like, well, whatever was bothering them can't be that bad. And changing their position was, you know, enough to stop, to stop it. it. Yeah. So there's no point in getting all wound up and yeah. thinking we've got to stop this crying, you know, when it's just, it's okay. yeah. just having a voice. Hello. Hello. Wow. Wow. Now, yeah. yeah, let's see. Let's see. What is it? What is it? We're going to listen here and see what you're doing. Do you have a burp in there? Let's just listen for an opportunity. Why don't, you, why don't you pick her up and just see what happens with their crying? Oh. Oh. There. There. Do you feel better now? Did you just want to see what was going on? Hmm? Did you want to see what was going on? Yeah, just want a little cuddle. Huh? Hi. Just a little cuddle. Okay, these are some signs, the early signs of of heading into the I need help cry, mm -hmm. okay? The early signs of being worn out, uh, not worn out, mm -hmm. um, overwhelmed, uh -huh. overstimulated. Okay, arching the back. Okay. You know what that looks like. Yes. You know what's spitting up. Yes. <laughs> but not related to eating. Okay. Okay, so if, if uh, 45 minutes went by and you, you know, were interacting with her in some way and she started spitting up, that might be a sign that she's getting overwhelmed. Okay. Okay. Avoiding looking into your eyes is very potent as a sign that she's not able to handle a lot coming oh, really? into her. Yeah. If she looks away, she's just asking for a little time out. Okay. Okay? Spreading the fingers as if to say stop, and that looks like this. Uh -huh. Okay, just like little stop signs. Back off. Yeah. Okay. And crying now, I need help crying. Also hiccuping and sneezing, you know. The hiccuping not related to eating. Okay. Okay. And then these are some simple ways to calm your baby down. One of the most comfortable positions that we get in is the fetal position. Do you know what that looks like, Kim? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. With Just a little crunched up and curled and yeah. everybody mm -hmm. seems to sleep like that a lot. That's exactly <laughs> right. That's because we feel nice and yes. secure. Reminds us of being back in the womb. That's right. So putting her in that position on purpose can be very comforting. Is that okay. why every, nowadays they have them lay on their side because they can crunch up smaller, or is it because of the breathing? It's probably because, because of the, the breathing. breathing. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But um, if she's overstimulated or overwhelmed, mm -hmm. you might try putting her in the fetal position as a way to, in, on purpose, calm her down. Okay. okay? 
Also, uh, just resting your hands on her, like right now, you could just lay your hands on her mm -hmm. in a gentle way, just and you just communicate calmness through your hands. Mm -hmm. Like, just pick up both of your hands and just lay them right on both of her legs, just in a nice, calm way, and just be real present there, mm -hmm. as if you were wanting to calm her down. That can feel very reassuring, okay? And then, wrapping her snugly, just like you have her wrapped right now, mm -hmm. is a way of comforting. You probably discovered that. Yeah. Do you use a pacifier, or does she use a pacifier? Um, sometimes she's not. There's times where she'll take it, but she'll only, she'll, she'll suck on it for a few minutes and then spit it out. So it's just for a few minutes if she does take it. Okay. So she okay. does take her, she has been sucking on her fingers a lot more. Good. So, That's yes. wonderful. I think so. Yeah. I don't have to worry about a pacifier falling out and hunting it and stuff like that. And Josh just, my older son just wants it all the time. He does. Yes. So, <laughs> so we're thinking fingers uh -huh. would be better. Mm -hmm. so. They they pretty much decide things. Yeah. Right? Unless you just never show them a pacifier yeah. and they never know anything about it. I I um, I don't have a feeling one way or the other. If a baby really needs it. Yeah. I think that's fine, mm -hmm. you know, and if a baby doesn't want it, that's fine. Yeah. You know, whatever is, yeah. works. I just Babies all have their own responses mm -hmm. to life. And one of the, the most powerful places where we can comfort ourselves is with the lips and inside the mouth. Oh, really? There are a lot of nerve endings there that are very calming. People chew gum or mm -hmm. eat, you yeah. know, have something suck, you know. My mm -hmm. well, own <laughs> do different things, yeah. you know that are actually stimulating these nerves and make us feel better. So a pacifier can be used for comforting for that very reason. Yeah. It also starts uh, the sucking process before food also starts those gastric juices flowing. Mm -hmm. So it can help with digestion a few minutes of sucking before feeding. Mm -hmm. So um, those are the main ones. Okay. okay? Then there are some other ones that I, you can read about later, and these are like, you know, putting your child in a wagon and pulling them around at night, or taking a ride in the, the car. car. <laughs> putting them on the dryer. <laughs> putting them on the dryer, that's right. Attended, of course. Yes, yes, attended, please. <laughs> okay, okay. The other thing that I want to um, ask you about is uh, about clean hands, because you're going to be around her mouth, mm -hmm. and you're going to be around her cord. Okay. With a uh, massage, so you need to have clean hands. So, do you need to wash your hands? Yeah, how is it being a baby? Mm -hmm. We've got everything that you need. We have your oil here and the booklet, and I'll demonstrate anything on the doll that doesn't make sense here on the picture so that you feel really comfortable with these very simple strokes. You're not going to have any difficulty learning these, Carmi. Okay. We're going to start with the legs because this is the least vulnerable area. And put a little bit of, just take one leg out and keep him wrapped up. You know, remember one of the things is about keeping him warm. Okay, and we're going to bring this around. Okay, Ben, we're going to keep you now, how do you say his name? Benjamin. Or with our little name? Yes. Benjamin. <laughs> Benjamin. I like that. Benjamin. Okay. And just a little puddle there. There you go. Okay. <laughs> yes. Right. Okay. And then swish, swish, and warm it. And he'll like to hear that sound. Mm. Okay. And then you want to support the uh, ankle. You know, put a couple fingers around there. And say, That's right. And then put the fingers on top. And then you're just going to make a rocking motion and come down the leg. That's right. All these strokes go down. Think calm down. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Pick up and see. So we'll pay attention here. Okay. That's really nice. Okay. And then, since he's being a regular baby here, <laughs> how do they wiggle out of those blankets? Right. <laughs> they have a way. And then put a little bit more oil, unless you have plenty on your hands, you can decide that. Um, okay, and then support the ankle and press nice and firm here. And then wrap your thumb under, there you go. You can write down the way, that's right. Good. Let's do it another time. 
Right, and undo uh -huh. her. you're going to have to undo her. I'm going to move this up here. And you'll keep her legs and arms covered, okay? Okay, and put a little bit of oil on your fingertips and go around the cord, but don't get oil on the cord. Okay. Okay? You won't, you won't need too much. Okay, so just go ahead and put it around her cord. That's right. Doesn't she have beautiful pink skin? She she does, and it was a lot darker than this. The first couple, first couple days, she like would turn like a like a maroon uh -huh. color when she would cry. Okay, you want to bundle her up a little bit. Okay, that's what you just do. Okay, oh, now here's what you do. Well. well, she has some <laughs> memories probably already there. Okay, now. Do you see the pictures here? This stroke is called I Love You. Okay. And we're going to start here on with your right hand on her left side. Right so, here. okay, that's going to be over on this oh, side, okay? Right side. And you want to use the flat of your fingers like this, okay? And you're going to stroke down like that and go right into her groin. Find her ribs with your fingers, okay? Feel, feel the edge of her ribs. Where are they, Erin? There they are. Right there. Uh huh. And you okay. just go down? Yeah, stroke down. Uh huh. That's right. Now you want to bundle her up a little bit so that she doesn't get cold. Isn't this fun? Yes. <laughs> it's confusing at first. <laughs> it's confusing at first. Yeah. Okay. Now you want to you wanna press firmly. Let's see what you're doing. Make a nice little sounds. This is fun, Erin. It's going to relax you. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, now go below the ribs. That's right, just like okay. that. Now that's the I. Now the love, the L, upside down, you come here and go across and down and stay under the ribs. La, upside down, L for love. Uh huh. Oh. Mm -hmm. There, Erin. Uh -huh. This will wake her up, huh? Yeah. And then the upside down U. Okay, okay where start. you just go, uh huh, yeah. down in the groin, up. Oh, well, she's yeah. going to talk. Oh, she's What's going she to talk. Say? What are you saying, Erin? That's right. Now, just go ahead and repeat that whole sequence again. Okay, the capital I. And you come straight down with the flat of your fingers and go below her ribs. That's right. I, uh-huh. I, and then L uh -huh. here. That's right. Uh-huh. Down. Mm-hmm. Then you. That's right. Now, <clears throat> this time, the third time, I'd like you to go a little deeper. Okay, so that you're pressing in about a half inch. Okay. Okay? And use the flat of your finger so that you, you don't I'm poke her or anything. Nails. That's right. That's right. I right. love you. Very good. Ooh. Okay. You calmed down, didn't you, Erin? Now, I'd like to teach you something that isn't in the booklet. Okay. okay and it's called abdominal reflex stroking, and it is excellent to get the gut moving if she's constipated or gassy. Okay? okay. And you take your fingernail, and this is one time where it, this is going to tickle. Okay. Okay? And I want you to make spiral motion like this with your fingernail without touching her cord. And when you spiral all the way out to the edge of her belly, then pick your finger up and go right by the cord and go around again and just spiral out. Just move very quickly. Like this? Yeah, exactly like that. Out in bigger and bigger circles. That's right. Mm -hmm. Bigger, bigger, bigger circle. That, now pick your finger up and go back to the center and spiral again. Ooh. Just like that. Just like that. That's right. Hey, what's going on, Erin? What are we doing to you? That's wonderful. There. That's wonderful. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to use that, sometimes it takes three or four minutes of that to get an effect. Okay. Okay? But now I'm going to go to the chest. Let's see if we can get these legs wrapped up. Oh, you're just... Oh, he's a, he is demonstrating he's beautifully. Activity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then put a little bit of oil on your hand. And then since this is such a sensitive area, just lay your hands like this for a moment. And let him feel your hands there and just get used to them. Okay, you keep one hand in place 
And then just slowly go right down to the other hand like to his diaper. That's right, just like that. And that one hand steady there will be very comforting to him. And that's beautiful. If you if you were going too fast, he would do a little arching or you know, open up his chest, but he's doing beautifully there. And then lay that hand in place. Touch Carmen. Okay, and now uh, take one arm out. That's all right, and a little bit of oil on your hands, and then press firmly in the palm, same as the leg. And just make that nice round little stroke from the shoulder down to the wrist. Now everybody gets to see that. Mm -hmm. okay. He's got a lot of uh, grip. He grips real tight. It seems like he carries a lot of something in his arm. Strength, yeah. probably. He'll be pushing himself <laughs> up. He has strong little hands. And then go to the other side. <laughs> I should put more oil on my hand. Uh -huh. Each time you switch a limb, you put oil yes. to a new area. Mm -hmm. And this warms the oil? And it warms it. And he likes that squishy sound, too. They tie little things into rituals. Oh, okay. Start using the word massage with him right away. Oh, and he'll know what that means. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he hears that sound, and he knows that it's happening. Uh -huh. He knows it's about to begin. <laughs> it's wonderful how they pick things up. Mm -hmm. That's good. Very nice. And you're doing well. He's giving you his arms in a beautiful way here. If he were holding his arms in kind of tight, you could just jiggle his arm and say, could I have your arm then? Okay. And often, just by asking, they'll just stretch and open well, their arms. Okay. It's amazing. Okay, now we're going to go on to the face, and you don't need any oil on the face or the scalp. Bless you. Mm -hmm. Bless you. He's giving a lot of these little overwhelm things, but they're all separate. So they're not together, so not to worry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and lay one hand alongside his face. That's right. And just hold it there, and we're going to do two strokes to the face. Okay. And I'm going to show you on me something the mother just does. Okay. okay. You just stroke from the face, just make a little pattern. Okay. And then you go under the eye, up around the ear. With two fingers or one? I just use one. Under the eye. <laughs> And we're going to save the mouth for last. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so put the your hand in place here. That's right. And just do those two strokes again. Pressure here. Okay. Which hand? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter the direction. But it's going to make him want to root. Okay. Which he looks like he wants to do. Yes. Right? <laughs> Bill, under his head. We know Benjamin's just eaten. Right. Or if he had wanted to eat, we would have stopped. Stopped. And, right. Yes. Okay. And then just make little circles. You don't need any oil on the scalp. I'm going to 
ask you to lay him on his belly. Mm -hmm. And it's often a little easier if you loosen the blanket a little okay. bit before you roll him over. There. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. And we're going to do the back. Nice stretchy blanket. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you need to put a little oil. Now the the, the back, he'll arch if you're moving too fast on his back, too. Okay. Okay. So just lay both hands there. That's right. And just keep one in place while you stroke just straight down to his diaper. Put that down for you a little bit. So gentle oil on your fingers. and he likes that too. Mm -hmm. You can see it has a calming right. effect on him. And then make little circles along the spine, not right down the middle, but alongside it. Just like that. This is where the motor is sensory and the nerves are coming out. Just nice to mm -hmm. He likes that. <laughs> I wish that. As much as he loves that, I'm going to suggest that we go on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Then we can just cover up his back. Um, there's just one more step, and that's to do the legs one more time. Okay. okay. So you take one leg out. Doesn't matter which one you start with. And he probably has enough oil. You can put your fingers on top. And then just make that little rock. <laughs> Not much leg to do that. No. Yeah. He gets a sense of his whole body this way, it's like a completion stroke. Mm -hmm. That's really good, Carmine. And then we'll go to the other side. Okay. Good. Press nice and firm in their little bottom of the foot. Good. It's really resistant. Okay, just ask him if you can have his leg. Can I have your leg, Benjamin? Can you straighten it out for me? Thank you. Good. Does he scoot around? Mm -hmm. Because he has like a little push off effect. Mm -hmm. You know, with his feet, he's pretty strong. Mm -hmm. You're a strong little boy, Benjamin. You did that very well. That was easy. Good. <laughs> yeah. Do you think